If you are doing business and you are reaching out to your clients with Gmail, WHAT? I mean just take a look at this. I received this email a couple of weeks ago. It says it wants to cooperate with me but just seeing a Gmail account, I didn't want to reply because I thought it was something sketchy. Or this, the company is a new platform working with Binance and wants to work with me to promote it. Then I saw Gmail and immediately I closed this email off. Maybe it is just me but I receive a lot of emails every day and especially if it is an invitation to do business, I would want to do some prior research about a company before I engage with it. So a domain email is super important in my opinion. And in this video, you are not only going to get one but five free business emails for free. With this, you can create info at your domain.com, support, admin, or whatever. So follow along this tutorial and get your business email set up. Let's go. Okay, the first thing you want to do is to visit this link and you will reach this page. And then you want to select business email so that you can get a username at your domain.com as an email. Let's select sign up for free. And now you'll be presented with all these plans. As you can see, they are very cheap. If you want to compare the price between Google Workspace and Zoho, this is definitely a steal. But anyway, we are not here to spend money. We are here to create your business email for free. So let's scroll down all the way to this part where it says forever free plan. You get up to five users and then you get five gigs of storage space per user and a 25 MB of attachment limit. I don't think you can get something like this for free anywhere else. And don't worry, Zoho Mail is not something sketchy. I've been using them for over a year now and they are awesome. All the mails are secured as long as you set them up right. So let's sign up for the free plan now. Now you can enter your name, your email address. This is for verification. You can enter your Gmail address and let's add a password here. Agree to the terms and sign up. Now there will be a one-time password sent to your email address. As you can see, I've used this email to sign up and this is the OTP. Let's copy that and paste it here. And the account is verified. Now let's add an existing domain. Now for this, you really got to own the domain in order to set up a domain email. For example, in this case, if I don't own ecotarot.com, I can't set up a domain email under ecotarot.com. You got to own it first. If you want to know where to buy the domain, I recommend going to namecheap.com because it's the best place to buy a domain. Just search for a domain and you will know if a domain is available. This is not available because it's owned by me. So go ahead and look for yours. Anyway, back to the setup. This is the domain I want to use to create an email account. Provide the organization name and the industry type. Just search for something relevant and click add. Oops, I already used this domain. So I'm going to use another. All right, let's add. And here we go. This is the start of the setup. Let's proceed to verify if you own that domain. And then you got to head over to your web hosting. The host I'm using is A2 Hosting and it is using cPanel. And then you need to search for something called Zone Editor. This is categorized under the domains. Let's click on this. And as you can see, I own this website, but Zoho Mail needs to know that you own this website. So let's click on Manage and you want to select TXT. Let's add a new record. This will be your domain name. And then for the TTL, which is the time to live, you want to put it as short as possible so that the changes will reflect much faster. I say, let's put this as 300. You can change it later on after it is verified. Next, let's select the type. Let's put it as TXT. And you want to paste in the text you have copied from here. Let's add record and we are done. The next thing is we need to verify the text record but it may take 30 minutes to a day for it to propagate. And since we have set the TTL to be about five minutes, let's wait a while for it to propagate. Okay, we are back. Let's verify the text record. And cool, this is done. The domain is verified. Now you can create your email address. Let's say if you want to put it as admin at your domain.com, you can create that. Or you want to put it as sales or support, whatever you want. But let's put this as info. And let's create this. And over here, if you want to add more users, you can do so by clicking on add. I'll put in my first name, my last name. We can put this as support or whatever you want. Let's create a password. Uncheck this. Let's add. Cool. Now we have another email address. So you can create up to five. And when you're done creating your users, let's proceed to set up groups. 
If for example, you have multiple employees and you want to restrict their access to your emails, you can do so here. Let's not make this too complicated. Let's move on from here. Let's proceed to DNS mapping. And this is the most important step for your domain email to work. You're going to copy all these MX addresses and you're going to paste it in a zone editor under MX. If you have any other MX records, you can delete them. And now let's add a new record. Select MX, put in the priority number, which you can find here. This is 10 and the destination is what we have copied. Let's add record. Let's add another. And let's add the final record. And now that we are done, it'll take some time for this to propagate as well. But what you can do is to reduce the time to life because 14400 seconds means four hours before this record is live. We can edit this, make this 300. Let's save the record. Let's do the same for the others. And let's wait a while for it to propagate. So we are back after about 20 minutes. Let's verify the MX records. It seems it is not propagated yet. So let's wait a while more. Okay, about half an hour has passed. Let's verify the MX records again. Cool and awesome. The MX records are pointed to Zoho. Next, let's proceed to SPF configuration. This is the security feature of your domain email. So you don't want to miss this step. Let's copy this. Head back to your zone editor under TXT. You want to add record. Select TXT, paste the record here. And over here, you want to add your domain. And let's add the record. Let's verify SPF record. Now, there was an error with this because I discovered there were multiple TXT record for the SPF. So to find out if there are multiple SPF record, you want to click on this and it will bring you to this page where you want to look it up. As you can see right now, there is only one SPF record and this was the previous verification. And just a while ago, there is another SPF record here which I have deleted since. So let's head back and let's verify the SPF record again. And there we go. The next thing we want to do is to click on this and the same thing, you want to copy this, head back over to your zone editor and you want to add a record. Now this is important, but it is the same thing. You got to make sure that there is no duplicated domain key. Any duplicates must be removed for it to work. I did remove this later on after some troubleshooting and that's why you're not seeing this being removed. But anyway, just make sure that any duplicated domain key is or are removed. Let's continue with this. Let's change the type to TXT paste in the text and add the domain and finally add the record. We forgot to change this to 300. Let's save record. Let's verify this. Okay, from here, we can see that this is not copied over because over here, we got to change the name to this and then we got to add dot your domain name and let's save this. So let's wait for a while and we'll come back to this. If you want to check if the TXT record is propagated, click on this link, visit here, do a lookup. And if this is detected, you're good to go. Let's head back and let's verify. And we're done. Let's proceed to email migration. We don't actually need this because this is a completely new domain. So let's proceed to mobile configuration. You can download the mobile app to your phone and you can access emails just like how you access Gmail through your phone. And we are basically done. Let's check out our inbox. Let's try to send out an email. And the mail is sent. Let's go to our Gmail. And here we go. And let's try to send an email back to this address. Head back here. And there we go. We have created your professional business email for free. I have been looking for such a free solution for a long time since Microsoft stopped its free business emails. I mean, with Gmail, you still can operate your business email under an alias, but it is not an email hosting solution. The email is still gotta land on your web hosting before it touches your Gmail inbox. And with Zoho Mail, you're basically hosting your email out of the web hosting, hence reducing the web resource used. Either way, I think Zoho Mail is the best way to get free business emails. I've been using their paid service for over a year now and they are awesome, so do check them out. Anyway, I hope this video helped and if you can smash that thumbs up button, I'll really appreciate that. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to learn more about how to use WordPress to save money on your business. All the best to you, take care and stay safe.